So, hey guys, how are you doing? I'm doing alright. A little bit bored, so I decided that I would do my top five today. And my top five is finally not going to revolve around a loot crate. The heroes and villains thing, that's, that's done. Instead, we're going to discuss something else that I love. Kingdom Hearts. It combines two of my favorite things, Final Fantasy and Disney, and I was super thrilled when it came out, so, yeah, I was pretty obsessive. It, it, it's inspired a lot of my arts, it's inspired a lot of, a lot of my everything. So I figured that I would talk about my top five favorite worlds from Kingdom Hearts. This is going to include worlds from Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2. I've played the other games, or, you know, partially anyway. I haven't beaten any of the others. Shame on me. I own them all, but I haven't beaten them all. So, we're just going to include 1 and 2, since those are the ones I have knowledge of. Okay? Alright. So, my number five is Atlantica. I've always loved The Little Mermaid ever since I was really little. I always wanted to be Ariel, and the area itself is really gorgeous. I guess my biggest complaint is that I wasn't wasn't very good at navigating it. I always got the buttons wrong. I had a hard time in that area, but I still thought it was really, really pretty, and I really, really loved it, so... Yeah. Number four. Traverse Town. I love the layout of the town. It's very calm, very open, and just a kind of a town I would absolutely enjoy living in. I love that you can find little edges, little areas to explore that you haven't before. You know, areas that lead you to, like, sewers, lead you to Merlin's place, lead you to places that are higher up that you couldn't reach before. I don't know. I just thought the entirety of that town and its layout was, was really cool, so... Yay for Traverse Town. Number three is... What's it called? Hold on. Oh, wow. I went so completely brain dead. <laughs> Destiny Island. Technically, you don't get to explore a whole lot of Destiny Island, and they show you that there's a whole lot more. There's a town, there's school, you know, but I guess maybe I like Destiny Island because I like the idea of the entire layout. Like, what kind of place does Sora, Kairi, and Riku live at? What are the other people that live there like, you know? You only really get to see a couple of the kids, and they're all like Final Fantasy kids, so, I mean, it's really cool, but I just like to think about the idea of Destiny Island, and it's, it's, it's a pretty calm and cool place, at least in my opinion. Number two, Halloween Town. I, I don't know. I liked Nightmare Before Christmas before, but, like, I really ended up loving it after this. Like, I like the way it's laid out. I like that they keep adding more and more to it as the games go on, and I, I liked what the characters turned into. All in all, it's, it's a fun place to be, and it's a silly, whimsical place to be, and I, I tend to really to favor that kind of stuff, I suppose. Yes, Halloween Town. Number one is not surprising at all. The Pride Lands. I am entirely and completely in love with The Lion King. It has been my favorite movie since I was eight or nine years old. And I finally got my wish. I got to feel like a lion. The way that you get to run super fast and spin, it made me feel like I was flying and there was just no better feeling than being able to fight with a Keyblade as a large kitty cat. Or technically a tiny kitty cat, but... Yeah. I really, really enjoyed that. And being able to just run all over the Pride Lands, even whenever there were no monsters, just the idea of running around just... It set me free. It was very... It was very calming, and... And I enjoyed that. I love that that the Kingdom Hearts worlds let you finally explore your, your favorite Disney places and be a part of that world. It's it's very rewarding for me, and that's probably why I love games so much, because you get to immerse yourself into them and, and be a part of them for a while. It's always brought me great joy. But yeah, that's my list. And for fellow Kingdom Hearts fans, feel free to tell me 
your list of your favorite worlds. Okay? Alrighty. Well, until next time, I'm going to go. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.